great Tuesday morning, September 15, 2020, to God be the glory. Can you believe that we're smack dab in the middle already of September? Before you know it, it's going to be Thanksgiving, Lord willing, birthday, and then Christmas. Wow. To God be the glory for another opportunity to see his beautiful sunshine, his warmth. Hopefully you went outside and had recess before work because God made this earth. We are in the 20th chapter of John, and we know about that character, the disciple Thomas, who said, unless I could thrust my fingers and my hands in the side of Jesus, I won't believe, I don't believe that he's alive. Remember? And Jesus said in verse 29 of John 20, he said, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. There are some situations in our life that we're going to confront today that we're going to have to go solely, totally, completely on the belief that is founded in the word of God and the promises of our father. Yesterday, I was on the phone and I told you all how on Sunday I was taking a test that I prepared for at least three hours and then in the middle of the online learning platform, it just timed out. It just went blank. And I said, no, my computer is working well. And I spoke to the instructor. She was like, no, it's, it's on your end, the network connection. I said, no, it wasn't. All the other platforms were working. And she was like, well, you need to study better. I was like, no, this has nothing to do with my studying. I'm an adult learner and educator. I am not one who is preoccupied with grades. I want to, because she was like, I'll just drop the grade or no, I'll average it with the next grade or I'll, you know, do I said, no, I don't want that finagling. I'm not in high school. I want to get the actual learning and I want the assessment and the evaluation of the effort that I put in. You don't want me as a student. So I went on in belief, knowing that the Lord was going to work this out. Well, it turns out I was able to talk to the platform uh, managers who who manages the site, and they were able to confirm that, yes, there was an outage on their end. They had too many users. I said, please send me proof, the, the work ticket, so that I could send it back to the instructor, knowing that I wasn't crazy. But I knew that I had to go out in the faith that the Lord has given me, that he will work it out. And did he do it? Oh, yes, he did. So what I am proposing for you to do today is whatever problem you have, make sure that Jesus is in the midst of that situation. It says in verse 19 that Jesus came and stood in the middle and he saith unto you, them, Peace be unto you. And he's saying that to us today in 2020, whatever is going on, so that we can carry out the work of the Lord that he has given us. We might have situations like Mary when she found out that she was going to be the carrier of the, the Christ child. And she was like, how shall this be? In verse 34 of Luke 1. And 35 answers, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. You have nothing to do with it. You step aside and just make sure that you're totally surrendered to his power and he will guide all day and he will blow your mind. And because of that, we can sing in Psalms 135, oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name when your faith gets weary Make known his deeds among his people. Sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk ye of his wondrous works, glory ye in his holy name. Seek the Lord and his strength, not your own, because it will wear out. Seek his face forevermore. Remember his marvelous works from the past and what he have done and what he will do on this very day. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the faithfulness of the Lord and know that he is in the midst and he'll give you peace.